loud. So angry. So dead. Bigger and more badass is a mantra many games have adopted, but few live up to the claim as much as Borderlands 2. The success of the first game has enabled developer Gearbox to make a game that's much more ambitious in every way, yet retain the hallmarks that made the original so loved. At its heart, it's still a first-person shooter, but one that has role-playing elements weaved to its core. No other shooter takes its protagonist on such an evolutionary journey, one where every bullet fired and every decision taken shapes the experience and indeed the character you play as. Each character's skill tree is more varied than before, giving you a greater choice over the direction in which you develop. You're able to shape your hero further still using badass points, plus you can swap out the way you look by dropping by a quick change kiosk. The enemies are bigger and more badass too, as Gearbox chief Randy Pitchford explains. There's you know five or six times the number of enemies in Borderlands 2 that were in Borderlands 1. One of the things that is going to be in one of the limited editions, we created this uh, piece of art and it's uh, what it is, it's, a, it's kind of a, an outline of the scale of all of the characters and enemies in Borderlands 2. And so imagine this thing and imagine here's the four player characters in this little box down here, right? And then, and then all the little you know human enemies and monsters and you can imagine these little silhouettes, hundreds and hundreds of enemies. By the time it gets over here, there's things that are giant. There's one thing that is off the scale of the page. You just see its legs, because it's like that big. And we've got a rack hive in there, and it's about like that. Gearbox has also worked hard on the way the enemies react in battle, and different opponents behave in different ways. Bandits will attempt to use their numbers to outflank and overrun you, while the giant goliaths use their thick skin to suck up bullets and attack head-on. There are multiple variants of the same enemy too, such as the raging goon goliath, who Pitchford says you better be wary of. So the goliath normally is kind of just a big kind of badass, you know, he's got the metal helmet on, but if you knock that metal helmet off, he's actually got this like horrific kind of head that's mutated and, and, and the act of knocking the helmet off releases the beast and he gets all freaking crazy and wild and he doesn't care what he's attacking. In addition to a beefed up enemy roster, many familiar faces return. You'll find Claptrap lurking in the rubble, plus Dr. Zed can be found carrying out his own unique brand of healthcare deep within Sanctuary. There are many new faces to encounter too, both in the relative safety of Sanctuary and also out in the wilderness. Take Tiny Tina. This pint-sized psycho is a beef with a bandit named Fleshstick, so she calls on you to invite him over to sort out their differences. This being Borderlands, there's no polite discussion over a cup of coffee, but instead the bandit is fried alive while you keep his mates at bay using the thing you know best, brute force. Interestingly, this is one example of the failable missions in Borderlands 2. These are new to the sequel, and as the name suggests, you only get one shot to lure Flesh Stick over to Tiny Tina's. Screw it up and you don't get a second chance, or indeed the reward for successfully completing the mission. Much like the original game, you can have a number of missions on the go at any one time. But there's much more to do off the beaten path, and side missions are much more prevalent than before. And there's just all kinds of side missions that are just non, almost non sequiturs. They just things you can do because you're in the world of Pandora and it's a living, breathing place where there's stuff to do. Ultimately though, Borderlands 2 is about taking everything the original did and making it bigger and better. The game world is twice the size, there are more enemies, more guns, more of everything. But that's something Gearbox always wanted to achieve. My greatest dream is that when people buy Borderlands 2 and they play it, they realize, they think to themselves, man, I'm getting more value out of this than the last $500 I spent on video games before getting this game. And that's like, that's, that's my wish, you know, that people really feel that. C could I have a refund, please? This gun doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I don't know. Looks like it works to me. For more on Borderlands 2, stay tuned to IGN.